Hello everybody, in this Keyshot video demo, I would like to talk about render passes. Okay, as you can see, I have a Keyshot scene being created. And what I want to do is to have this scene being rendered with some of the render passes being enabled. Okay, so what you can do is I'll go to render. And at the output section, you'll notice that there are some passes such as diffuse lighting, um, global illumination, which are, can be enabled. Okay, so what happens is that if you enable these passes and you add them to PSD with this part, uh, enable add to PSD and have the format saved to PSD, your PSD file will include layers with these passes. Okay, so for example, let's say if you have the reflection pass enabled, what happens is that on your PSD you will have a layer pertaining to the the rendering of the reflections in that scene. Okay, and the same goes with the other aspects such as ambient occlusion. Uh, so on the ambient occlusion layer, you will have uh, the ambient occlusion being rendered for the scene. Okay, um, for me, I already done my rendering, so I'm not going to do the rendering now. So uh, what I'll do is I'll cancel this. But uh, the thing to be aware of is that you have to save your format to PSD and have this add to PSD enabled and have the relevant passes checked. Okay. So let's head over to an image editor now. Okay, in our case here, I'm using Affinity Photo, but I reckon if you have Photoshop, uh, the workflow will be uh, pretty much the same. Okay, so you go to File, Open, and this is the PSD that has been outputted by Keyshot. I'm going to open it. On the layer section, you have the RGB layer, which is the final output. And then you have a group called render passes. Okay, let's expand it. And you can see that like, there are like uh, the various passes that I have enabled during the uh, option selection on Keyshot. Okay, so um, by default, this is uh, disabled. So if I want to enable it and maybe work through the various passes. So I think I'll start with the AO. So what I can do is... Uh, disable the visibility of the other passes okay so depending on the, the layer and the passes involved you will have to uh, use an appropriate blending mode okay so uh, let's say in this case say AO maybe let's try the, the multiply mode okay and you can see that uh, AO uh, layer is uh, multiplied onto the, the RGB layer but this is like too overwhelming so you have to like maybe decide on uh, what what is it of the AO layer that you want to use for example maybe in, in my case I want to uh, have the corners or the edges are being more clearly defined so those areas that are not so useful you might want to erase them away so I'm going to use an eraser and also maybe turn down the opacity I don't need to be too much it's too overbearing so maybe something like that and then this area I I would want to erase off okay so that also only retaining like some of the regions here for the edge to be better defined okay and also for the particular layer if you want to you can also you know adjust the the contrast for example to define how sharp you want the edge definition to be okay yep okay maybe something like that okay
just to show okay and then I will click the merge okay so you notice that yeah with and without the AO layer there are some slight differences yeah basically in this area that you want the, the edges to be more more defined okay so this is like uh, AO then we have things like the reflection reflection layer and basically you can see over the reflection ray is uh, showing all the reflections in the scene and depending on your situation you might want to merge using the appropriate uh, blending mode Let me just use the screen okay if you use the screen you notice that the reflection layer actually brighten up certain regions okay yeah so just do a bit adjustment here you can see that there are some differences when you have the reflection layer on so maybe I will say um, Maybe I want to enhance this, but I, this part is like too overpowering. So again, we can use the eraser. I'm gonna use the eraser to like, you know, erase off the region that I think is not really uh, what what I want. Okay, so maybe here I don't want it. Yeah. So you can see, yeah, certain areas um, their reflectivity has been uh, enhanced. Okay, so then you have things like GI layer as well, and GI basically deals with the global illumination. Okay, and just to show you what, what, what we can do with it, so let's say for example, at the screen, you notice that GI actually brightens certain areas. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll just like um, have certain areas like slightly brighten using the GI, okay? See, yep. Okay, then you have the lighting layer. So if you want to like, you know, have certain part are being enhanced, you can use the light lighting layer, but um. See over here, this uh, light, light region has been enhanced. If I were to turn it on, okay, it's off, okay, yep. Now, um, maybe I'll just do a duplicate of the base, the RGB layer, and uh, sharpen it, okay, sharpen it using clarity. enhance some of the the details you can see uh, enhancing some of the details so maybe a certain uh, region I want to enhance some of the details I can just uh, bring up okay you notice if I were to turn off the render passes layer and to later turn it on you can see that there are differences okay because of the applications of the various uh, passes okay so the passes are very useful for doing post processing work without having the need to, to uh, re-render the scene again okay and with that I come to the end of this demo See you around. Bye.